नमस्ते टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू रिलीज नेगेटिव इमोशंस फ्रॉम द बॉडी हाउ टू रिलीज नेगेटिव इमोशनल एनर्जी फ्रॉम अस वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी हैव ट्रैप दिस नेगेटिव इमोशनल एनर्जी फर्स्ट हाउ वी हैव स्टोर्ड ऑल ऑफ दीज नेगेटिव इमोशंस विद इन अस थ्रू आउट द इयर्स वी आल्सो नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट नेगेटिव इमोशंस need energy to survive and if you have negative emotions within you this drains out a lot of energy from yourself and how have you managed to keep so much of these emotions within you the only reason is that you have not been natural to yourself you have not felt these emotions completely when they came to you society has trained our minds in making us believe that it is not best for us to feel every emotion that comes to us for example take a classroom where a teacher is teaching a lot of children it is in the nature of a child to be ecstatic and joyful and happy and laugh and dance and sing but do you think it's going to be the best for this teacher to control this child what would the teacher do the teacher would make this child suppress his emotions and feelings so that it is best for her to control the classroom and this is what society does to us the only reason they want to control our minds suppress our emotions and feelings in a way that is best for society when you were growing up there were so many emotions that must have come to you and you were made to suppress these emotions because you were made to believe that feeling these emotions is not appropriate so what you do for example when anger comes to you is that you suppress this anger deep within when anger comes to you you push it deep down within in a closet and suppress this anger repress this anger you do not feel it completely only if you feel this anger within you this anger will leave but if you do not feel it if you suppress it within you this goes deep down within your subconscious and then manifests into different more negative emotions and feelings so what should you do when anger comes to you i am not telling you to express it in a way and go break this person's head when you are angry with somebody or go shout at somebody when you are angry when anger comes to you no matter what way it comes to you you need to feel this anger completely you can go into a room lock the doors scream and shout beat a pillow if you have to say things loudly things that you would never tell anybody but feel it completely feel this anger completely when anger comes to you and when it comes to handling a situation if you were angry in that situation you will never be able to solve the problems that come with this situation in the best way you could it is only with a calm mind a peaceful mind that you will be able to solve any situation the best way you could and a mind cannot be calm and peaceful where there is anger in the heart so this anger needs to be let go of first only then you will be able to maneuver through any situation in life you also need to understand that when someone is angry when someone is feeling negativity within them what they try to do is throw out their negativity into the world give others also the same kind of vibration that they are feeling at that time so if you are feeling peaceful and calm within and somebody is trying to give you anger and you decide not to take it so what happens with this anger it is like somebody brings you a gift and is trying to give you this gift but you do not accept this gift so what happens to this gift this gift stays back with that person it doesn't come to you this example is just for anger there are so many emotions that are trapped within us that we have not felt completely because of which it has either led to more negative emotions emerging within us or we have just let these emotions stay within us like a stagnant dirty pool what happens to a stream of water or river that is flowing it is clean it is pure but what happens to a pool of water that is not cleaned that is not flowing it becomes stagnant it becomes dirty the same is with your emotions if it is not flowing if it is kept 
buried deep down within it does not flow it becomes dirty think of what happens to an infection in the body this infection naturally begins to generate a pus around it and if this pus is not released this results in greater bigger problems later on like an abscess generating over there the same is with your emotions if you do not let the emotions flow if you do not feel them naturally if you do not let nature to happen within you you will become a stagnant dirty pool that only wants to feel negativity within and also wants to give out negativity into the world for example if you are feeling love for something or someone in a particular situation but society has made you feel and you yourself have made you feel that loving this thing or this person is going to result in a heartbreak is going to get you attached to this thing and then it's going to result in more pain nobody has told you to get attached to this person nobody has told you to give something valuable of yours to this person but feeling love if it's natural let it happen you do not need to do anything you do not need to give anything to this person you do not need to give even your time to this person or this thing but feeling this love that has come to you at that time when it's natural if you ignore that then something very unnatural will happen within you and that is what is happening with the whole world today when it comes to food people are putting unnatural foods into their body when it comes to emotions people are feeling fake emotions within trying to feel fake emotions within them because you cannot feel a fake emotion you can only fake it an emotion or a feeling that is natural can only be felt within you feeling and faking are two completely different things but they are thought of to be one the same thing happens when it comes to crying what we have been taught along the years is that crying is a weakness crying is a sign of weakness we have led to believe this but you can only be strong if you let out the tears completely you let out this emotion when it comes to you if you do not cry and let it out it is going to remain within you and it's going to start rotting within you only if you cry when you feel like crying let it out completely you will release these negative emotions from you the same is with sadness the only reason why depression and sadness keep coming back to a person is that they do not feel them completely when it has come to you they feel why is everybody else happy or at least they are pretending to be happy and why am i sad why has sadness come to me and then what this person does is try to jump back to some other kind of emotion or feeling they try to quickly manually change this emotion to an emotion of happiness or joy which is not possible when sadness has come to you it has come to you for a reason to show you that you are not living your life naturally that you are making a mistake somewhere in your life so sadness has come to you unless and until you do not feel this sadness completely no matter how many days it takes this sadness is not going to leave and it will keep coming back unless and until you fulfill its purpose in your life these are just a few examples there are many more examples that we will come to in more videos